Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this tutorial series in class 11 physics. I am following the book NCERT physics part 1. So in this video, we will solve the problem number 2.1 from the chapter number 2. In this problem we have, in the first part of this problem we have the volume of a cube of side 1 cm that is we are given the side of a cube okay and we have to find out the volume in meter cube so we have to first know the formula for volume so volume of a cube v is equal to length cube or we can say that length into length into length now we have to find the volume in meter cube we are given in centimeter cube so we have to first convert the centimeter into meter unit okay so we know that one centimeter is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 meter in the question it is given that the side of this cube is 1 centimeter this 1 centimeter is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 meter now we have to use the formula for volume so capital V is equal to L cube so here we will have 10 to the power minus 2 whole cube and here also we will have m cube so if we now find out 10 to the power minus 2 whole cube okay that means 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube okay are you getting my point so this is the answer of the first part so in the first part blank you have to fill this answer so now let us go to our second part of this problem in the second part of this problem we have the surface area of a solid cylinder of radius 2.0 cm and height 10 cm is equal to this much of in millimeter square. So you have to see the units. The given radius is in centimeter as well as the height is in centimeter. But we have to find out the surface area of the cylinder in millimeter. Okay, that means the given centimeter units we have to convert into millimeter first. Okay, then we will use the surface area formula for finding out the surface area of the solid cylinder. Okay, so this one was part A. So in part B. Okay, now we have to see here. In part B, we are given that the radius small r is equal to 2 centimeter. Okay, this is equal to if we express it in millimeter. So 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. 2 centimeter is equal to 20 millimeter. Okay so this much of radius then we are given that height small h is equal to 10 centimeter so we can write it as 100 millimeter so these are the given dimensions now we have to use the formula for surface area so in a cylinder suppose we have a cylinder here like this suppose this is the cylinder okay in this case we have two circular surface so we have to find out the surface area not the volume okay so we have this one is the first suppose circular surface and here at the lower part lower on this is the bottom one and then we have to find out the surface for this height small h and this radius is given as from here to here center to here this is small r so we have to use the value of radius as well as height of this solid cylinder so the surface area so what will be the formula for surface area of the cylinder so we'll have two parts in the first part we'll have the surface area of these two circular surfaces this is one circular surface this is second circular surface each circular surface will have a surface area of pi r square okay so in one surface the circular surfaces we have a area of this much so we have two number of circular surface so here we'll have two two pi r square okay or we may say that this is nothing but the area of the two caps of the solid cylinder okay next we will have the this curved surface okay this is the curved surface okay this is the curved surface of the cylinder now we have to find out this curved surface area this has a height of small h in a single circle we have this, this much of perimeter okay now we have to multiply with small h because we have h number of circles here so here we'll have small h now we can rewrite this formula as 2 pi r if we take common we will have r plus h 
सो टू पाई आर टू इंटू पाई मीन्स ट्वेंटी टू डिवाइड बाई सेवेन इंटू आर मीन्स वी हैव फाउंड इट टू बी ट्वेंटी एम एम ओके वी हैव टू एक्सप्रेस इन मिलीमीटर ट्वेंटी एम एम इंटू नाउ वी हैव ट्वेंटी प्लस हंड्रेड बिकॉज दिस स्मॉल एच इज हियर हंड्रेड ओके सो दिस इज द मल्टीप्लीकेशन नाउ सो हियर विल हैव टू इंटू ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवेन इंटू ट्वेंटी इंटू वन ट्वेंटी फ्रॉम हियर विल गेट ए एंसार अफ वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन टू दि पावर फोर मिलीमिटर स्कोर सो दिस इज द सार्फेस एरिया अफ दि सिलिंडार सो उ हेव टू पुट दिस वेल्यू इन दिस सेकेंड गैप्स ओके सेकेंड ब्लैंक स्पेस नाउ लेटेस्ट गो टू आवर थार्ड पार्ट अफ दि प्रब्लेम इन द थार्ड पार्ट अफ दि प्रब्लेम उ हेव a vehicle moving with a speed of we have to find out the speed in meter per second okay if we find out the speed in meter per second then we will find in one second how many how many meter it will travel okay so if we convert this speed in kilometer per hour into meter per second then we can find out the distance traveled in 1 second okay so here here we are given that speed is 18 km per hour in the third part of this question we have speed is equal to 18 km per hour now we have to convert this speed into meter per second that means we have to convert this unit kilometer per hour into meter per second okay so how we can convert it now let us convert okay so 18 will remain as it is 18 here will have into now in 1 kilometer how many meter will have 1000 meter and suppose it is divided by per hour means it is in the denominator okay so 1 hour in the denominator that means 1 hour has 60 minute and 1 minute has 60 second that means in 1 hour we have this much of second okay so we can write the unit is second 5 meter per second okay so this is the speed now in meter per second that means meter per second means now the vehicle moves at a speed of 5 meter per second that means in 1 second it travels a distance of 5 meter okay 5 meter okay so this 5 meter you have to put in the blank so here we'll have 5 meter now let us go to our fourth part of the problem in the fourth part we have the relative density of lead is 11.3 okay we have a relative density when you are given a relative density without suppose in which respect then you have to consider that this relative density is in comparison to the density of water okay so its density in gram per centimeter cube and kilogram per meter cube we have to find out okay so we are given with a relative density now we have to see some formula okay in part d we have the relative density formula we have to know what is the formula for relative density it is the density of lead density of lead divided by the density of water when you are not given in comparison to who in comparison to whom you are uh, you are given the relative density then we have to consider it to be in comparison to water okay that is the density of water we have to consider the relative density formula will be relative density is equal to density of lead divided by density of water now if we want to find out the density of lead so this one suppose we have to find out now this one so density of lead will be equal to relative density multiplied by density of water okay so we are given that the relative density is 11.3 so you have to write here 11.3 into density of water what is the density of water 1 gram per centimeter cube okay so in 1 centimeter cube of water it has a density of 1 gram mass okay so this much of mass per centimeter cube okay so here we'll have 11.3 gram per centimeter cube in the first space we have to put it to be 11.3 gram per centimeter cube okay now we have to express in kilogram per meter cube okay now we have to see here this gram per centimeter cube we have to convert into kilogram per meter cube okay 
so 11.3 into now 1 gram is equal to how much kilogram 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram kilogram is kg okay and centimeter cube per centimeter cube means it is in the denominator okay so in the denominator now we have centimeter cube so 1 centimeter is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 meter okay this much of cube okay so here we'll have 11.3 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg divided by 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube now we can rewrite this as 1.13 into 10 to the power this is plus 3 okay this is plus 4 kg per meter cube okay so this is the value you have to put in the blanks okay so this is the solution of the first problem okay thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel i will be solving these problems one by one all the problems i will try to solve you have to do one thing that is you have to share these videos to all of your friends okay thank you